Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. So in this video, we're going to cover on sales done. If you're currently doing WordPress, WooCommerce, or if you're doing Shopify or Wix, definitely stick tuned with this video because what you're about to see, that's going to blow your mind and transform the way people do e-com business. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a shop or a store from scratch and we're going to load a couple more products. So by end of the video, you should be able to see a fully functional store coming out of sales done and you'll be the judge of how nice it looks if you decide to give it a shot the link is in the description below they're pretty generous with a free plan so you got nothing to lose play around with it see how much you like it without further ado let's get into it as you can see here, I logged into my sell done account. Before you want to create a new shop, you want to make sure a couple things are on check. First one is a wallet. Here you can see I have a USD account. So what you want to do is create a new account and you want to choose the currency you want to work with. And then you choose the account name. And that's basically how you create these accounts. You can do transfer, deposit, and you can check the balance and how much is locked and so forth. The second thing is the security. Sell done offers quite a wide range of security mechanism here you can see you can change your password what i personally recommend is two-step verification or two-step authentication it's a much more secure even though someone has your phone number email or password they won't be able to come into your account unless they have a two-step verification code if you're running an online business it's your responsibility to make sure it's a secure and it's a safe and now let's create a store from scratch so i just randomly call it Tario productions online shop the language is english and the best part of it is look at what happens when i click on on English. This is the list of language that Seldon supports. And this is how my store looks like if people search it up on Google or Google crowds your store. From there, I'm going to give my shop a unique name. So this is the link I'm going to use to share my store. However, keep that in mind. If you have the right plan, you can always use your own domain. But if you're on a free plan, then simply just use this link as you want. Okay, from there, click on save. So description, this is more like a mega data or mega description for Google search engine. Keep that in mind the ideal meta description length for SEO is around 155 to 160 characters. Click on save or next. Now it's contact information. So it's really important again if you're running an online store to indicate what store, what country and the location. So this way again overall it's good for Google to crawl your website to find the location either it's online or physical store. And it's also really good for customers to see where your store location is from. And from there I'm going to click on save. Last but not least this is a unique logo for your own brand. Once you finish all these basic steps to set up your store, you should be prompt into your shop dashboard. So from a visual perspective, this is how my store looks like at the moment. And keep that in mind, I have a zero products. But overall, this is the bones, the structure. You can see it's pretty crisp and it loads really fast as well. Just a really quick tip here. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You can change your store currency if you have a multiple different account or you can change the app level to different types of visuals. If you're a newbie or beginner, just start Started, you don't want to get bombarded with a whole bunch of these advanced settings. So you might want to downgrade the visual to newbie or beginners. And then once you get slowly adjust or used to all these settings, then you can slowly crank up to advanced. And at the bottom, we'll have a dark and light mode. Attention to detail is what makes this app super incredible and impressive. And let's click on add products. This is how we're able to add new products. We can have a two different modes, add product with a detailed or fast mode. Or you can always use CSV files, the spreadsheet to upload and import all your existing products at one click. What I'm going to do is click on new product. On the right hand side, this is my day to day gear that I use on a daily basis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a couple of the good quality products and I'm going to add it into sales done. Since the first product is a camera and it's going to be the physical product, we have a four different types, right? Physical, virtual, file and services. Now click on physical product. First option is to add it into a category. I can choose home or I can choose my own category called a tech gear and I'm going to create a new category. I just added a new product name. For product units, we have a four different options. I'm going to go with the first one, which is default. And then here you can input your SK KU number, MPN number. If your product is searchable on the entire e-com eco space like Amazon and so forth, you can add them in here. For now, I'm going to just say this product is original. Product and for product conditions, we have external links and brands. For brands, I'm going to input Sony because this is a Sony camera and condition is brand new and warranty. Let's say our warranty is 30 day money back guaranteed. And then for guaranteed day, we're just going to input 30 online status active. Everything's good to go. Click on save. 
save and continue. And now we have the survey and the features. You will see how these sections will be displayed on a product page. For product pros and cons, I basically grabbed a couple of these description bullet points and just copy paste to the left. You can add as many as you want. For badges, we can do customized product badges. Let's say, hey, this badge is uh, best seller or promotion, new arrival. You can add these badges. By the way, pay attention to this UI. I mean, I have not yet seen an app that does such an incredible UI. It almost feels like I'm using Uber app a little bit. You know what I mean? So just going to do auto and click on continue. For product images, keep that in mind. The maximum allowed is two megabytes per image. So I'm going to drag and drop and now it's uploading these images. So this is going to be the main image I'm going to use. You see the animation, pretty cool animation. If I hovered over it, that's how it looks like. And if I go leave it and the title comes back. Scroll down, you can add a YouTube video as a video description if you want to. Just for demonstration purpose, I'm going to go to YouTube and find a popular YouTube video just to see how it looks like when I do a product video, right? That is the video link I'm going to use. And then for product images gallery, and now you can basically bulk drag and drop into this box. Make sure again, they're less than two megabyte and pre image. So there we go, we finish uploading the images, click on save and continue. In here, you can do an input form of buyer information, quick message to the users if you wanna drop them a note. And from there, I'm gonna click on continue. Let's just grab the exact price they're selling on Amazon. You can give them a discount. For example, let's do a 50 box discount there. And you can also do time-based discount if you want to by inserting a time range. And then from there, I'm good to go. You can see 4799 minus 50 is 4749. Again, how the store looks like on Google search engine, okay? It's really important because if you think about it, we can get a lot of organic traffic if our product or store is SEO friendly. That's why it's the main purpose for me to jump on sell done is also for the SEO aspect. Last but not least, you can also do package weight. Let's say this package weight is one kilo. Preparation time is how long does it require for you? Is it instantly for you to prepare this item or eight hours one day i believe normally people ship off their e-com products within a day right 24 hours and now before we wrap up everything you can see completion rate is 59 percent we have a couple more features we can add into it first one we can select image text and summary and you can also schedule certain product imagine you do a product launch seven day sequence right from seven day now it will be launched imagine you have to do everything manually it's such a stress but for here you can set that date of the launch and forget about it everything will happen in the back end automatically. That's why I like about it and put a title in there. That's good to go. And, and you can also add a few more frequently asked questions. I want to add as many details as possible so you guys can see how it looks like when we publish everything. And at the end, really important thing is structured data. This is going to tell Google, sending the signal to Google to say this product is about a book or this product is about estimated salary. So Google displays information differently based on what kind of signal you give it to. And you can also say this is a course, how to or recipe. We're good to go from everything. Click on save and continue. Let's say I have a four of these cameras, set count and click on finish. So there we go. We just officially added one item, one product to our store. First thing you're gonna see here is the product item link. If I paste it to my shop, this is how my shop looks like. And now we're going to get into the customization on the theme just in a moment, but this is visually how it looks like. Isn't it nice? Really cool part is we can add comparison. You can see once I click on it, the bottom left corner, I have little magnifying glasses that says compare. And now I can go to the second item, click on it again. It will do a side-by-side -side comparison. Comparison. Scroll down, this is description, we added FAQ. If people leave a review, they can log in, sign in and do a review and all that. And then at the bottom, you can share this product on all these social platforms. And then if we have a more than one product, it will recommend related products to your buyers. And at the end, it's a footer. So overall, I'm very impressed. You can see probably the longer process is adding these individual products into your store. But once you add all of them in, it's such a joy to navigate around and shop around. This is a physical type. We have a how many inventory in total and how many sold. Really detailed, almost like Google Analytics type of dashboard here. And, and a product sales performance and then customer feedback. And then there's another part you can do is 3D or AR. If you have a 3D model of this product, you can go find that GLB file 
and then drop it in here and you can actually do a 3D model visual display of your product. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fast forward the paste a little bit. I'm going to add four more items into the shop. I'll show you guys how the store looks like eventually. As you can see here, I added four products in total. Honestly speaking, I kind of enjoy the fast mode. So basically you can use the fast mode quickly within a few clicks to add the product into your store. I bet you a lot of these WooCommerce or Wix or uh, Shopify don't have such a feature. You can massively organize your products, right? So this is how the store looks like. You can see the four items has been added. It shows you the discount percentage. If I hover over my mouth on one of the products, I can have these quick buy or add this item into my car. If I click on quick buy, it's basically going to open a pop up. It's kind of like a quick preview. You can add it into your car. And then on the left hand side, really detailed filter for customers to find a better product. These filters are super intuitive. All orders will be displayed here, physical, virtual files and services. Click on setting once. Here you have a really detailed settings. In my previous video, I mentioned the business model. I just want to go with a normal store model. This is a direct communication between customer and my shop. Just give you a clue. If I click on drop shipping, look at the model. The customers place an order and then this order gets connected with these uh, third party software or these vendors or suppliers they ship the items and then your customers get the update. That's the model, right? Marketplace is a, such a cool one, meaning you can have your own Amazon e-com shop where a whole bunch of vendors can sign up underneath your shop and post their own products. And this way you can earn commission in between. And that is an incredible feature. And then for flow wise, really important thing I want to set here is I want to be able to let the customers to have options to log in. I don't want to have a mandatory login. You can also do on checkout promote them or prompt them to have an account with you. I want to show you guys a really killer feature by Seldon, which is the Uber style of checking out. That's why I enabled it here. So I want to show you guys just in a moment. One last touch I want to do is the themes. You can see my store currently has a purple bar on top. I want to go with a dark theme and then footer. I want to go with light or dark. You can go that way. Checkout themes can be light or dark. I'm going to go with the dark for now as well. And then the points you want to change is the color code here. One, two, three, four. There are four spots. For a primary dark color, I change to this green. A deeper one, I change this to this deeper green. If you want to find a good color combination that's a good modern branding, you can come check out colors.co. You can start generating or exploring like a trending, kind of like a color combination. There's tons and tons of these color combo you can use, okay? Primary color of the button, you can see I changed the green and then I'm just gonna grab that same code and I'm gonna change the hyperlinks to this green. So you can see button looks like that, links looks like that, and that's it. I'm going to apply changes, come to my shop, refresh, and that should show you the refreshed one. And then if you want to add more language pack to your store, you can click on install. They support a lot of languages here, you can see, right? Just click on one click install, and then it will add this language option into your store. If you're operating in EU countries, then GDPR is a must. You can show this alert or consent alert at all times or don't show if you don't locate in this country. It didn't take us forever to build an entire store. Imagine if this is on WordPress, you have to figure out how to design the store, go find some themes. You have to add them. You have to make sure security, right? Loading fast for sales done. Everything is happening all in one operating system. That's why I truly appreciate what the developers came up with here. And now I want to show you one last feature that I personally truly love. Okay. And you can see this is my store. This is the tech gear. I just inserted as uh, categories. I can show only original, only discounted, or I can check this price range to only show me prices fell into this price range. We shop with the different types of brands. And from there, I'm going to open one of these products. I'm going to click on compare. I'm going to go back to the products and click on this camera, click on compare. And now to the bottom left, I can open this and I can have a side by side comparison in terms of their pricing types, brands, different types of warranty, all the pros and cons will be displayed here. Personally, this one feature alone, bring your e-com store to the Apple level, right? Apple has this feature. So really cool feature there. I added this item to my bag or my shopping cart. I'm going to click on my card. I'm going to click on checkout and now you can 
insert your coupon at checkout here. And now check this out. This is the coolest part called the Uber map style of checking out. Normally at checkout, what do you ask them first? Is the address, right? So here, click on shipping address. So I just inserted a random location in Vancouver, Canada. So you can see this is the location. <laughs> Imagine people check out with this experience, right? So that is my address. It finds the location, the postal code, and all this detail information. Click on set location, or you can click on address detail and manually fill in there. You can see there my address has been inserted here. Look at the animation and any notes I can insert to the seller. And then billing info is the same as the uh, recipient info. And from there, I can pay now. Remember, come back to your store setting, click on accounting, and you want to to add a payment gateway to your account. Otherwise, you can't really charge people, right? If I click on add a new payment method, I'm going to select the USD as my main currency, right? Which I set the default. From there, you can see that I can add Stripe as my payment method. I can add PayPal and I can do cash on delivery. Again, this is more like an in-person type of thing. If you only do it online, I don't recommend cash on delivery. And then from there, you can do bank transfer and other payment gateway methods. If you click on PayPal and you can can activate your PayPal payment gateway. When people check out, they can check out either through Stripe or PayPal. As you know, majority of the buyers now is on mobile. Let's test out everything on mobile, see how it looks like and make sure everything is loading smooth. Things are aligned properly, okay? I also did a GT metric speed test, came out with an A on a product page, so which is fantastic, right? So now this is on my mobile. If I click on a tech gear, this is how the product page, the grids looks like and click on one of these products. If I click on video, that's how you are able to view the video, right? On the top right corner, there's something called a QR code. You can literally grab this QR code and show it to your friends. You can scan this with your camera and it will load this page immediately. And here, these are product images, pretty crisp and good quality. There's not like heavy compression, you know what I mean? So the CTA button is add to card and then these are the description and share buttons, right? And then we have a related product that we can keep upselling them. And keep an eye on the bottom, there is a bar. If I I click on that folder icon this is loading all the product categories and I can also search for certain products on the top left corner you're going to see the QR icon click on it once you can literally let other people to scan the QR code to find that exact product it's pretty well thought of in that case and in the middle that is my shopping cart or your bag click on it that is the one item the lens I added to my cart and here is the test address I used Vancouver right set location and everything looks pretty cool so you see it loads really nice smooth it has this design to it right it probably will cost you quite a bit if you hire a designer just design a product or a store like this everything you're seeing here we've done is basically filling the blanks right and drag and drop basically Overall, what we did is we set up a store from scratch, added four products, so you can quickly set up a fully functional store within an hour or 30 minutes. If you enjoy this content, drop some comments and some likes below, and let me know which part you enjoy the most, and also let me know what kind of help do you need in terms of setup. I'm happy to record them into videos and help you guys to quickly get a just of sales done and started to make passive income online with your store. And lastly, if you have not yet registered an account or signed up with a sell done, the link is in the description below. They have a pretty generous free plan you can use and to learn. And if you decide to go with a paid plan, you can pick one of the options from there. Tori Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.